So today I want to pour the concrete for my foundations for the roof posts and I already prepared everything behind me and now I just have to dig three holes which is gonna be pretty exhausting but luckily they only have to be like 40 centimeters deep and today I wear my shoes and my long socks because the mosquitoes were eating up my feet the last days like really bad so yeah let's start So today I'm gonna screw the boards together for the concrete foundation, four pieces. And on the top I'm using screws because I can still reach them later and at the bottom with nails so I can pull it out and split it later. Now I painted my steel brackets with anti-corrosion paint and this time in green. That's why I bought this green all-in-one paint because it fits well to my container where I also have to weld something so it's not so visible. Now I'm measuring the foundations for the roof posts. Similar to my container foundation, I staked it out with this wood planks and then with the help of my spirit level and the water tube, I leveled it out so everything is straight because the ground is a little bit tilted and that's going to be the center post and the last one and to get a perfect rectangle I measured the diagonal lines and if both diagonals have the same length you have a perfect rectangle and this time I left some more space so I can dig the holes now. So the wood boxes will be 40 centimeters under the ground and the last 15 centimeters will look out from the ground. And the posts will sit on the concrete. It was pretty complicated to measure everything correctly, but now it looks pretty good. So now I just have to dig the holes. Damn, now there is this huge root exactly where I wanted to dig the second hole. Shit. I guess I need my Makano. So the first two holes are finished. The first one I already leveled, it fits perfectly and that's how the second hole looks before I put the wood box. Everyone who dug a hole in 30 degrees celsius doesn't need a fitness studio anymore. I'm sweating so much you could think it's raining. So. Now I have to dig one more. Whew. So now I finished the last hole, which was the hardest one because the soil was like clay inside. Now I tightened the strings and added two planks a little bit lower. So it has the same height because it has a difference of about 30 centimeters, which I already calculated before in my 3D software. 
But the problem I see now is that the strings are not in the correct place. I don't know if you can see it. Here is where the string should be on the marking. And here as well. But it doesn't match at all. So I have to widen the holes. And it was already so much work. It's really hard to dig a hole exactly where you want it to be. So now I widened the holes and measured everything again, which took me another two hours. But now everything fits perfectly. And that's where the wood post should stand later. The strings cross exactly at the edge of the post. Well, now I have to mix the concrete. Yesterday it was raining all night and today everything is wet. And the last hole is completely full of water. My whole construction is swimming in water. Now I have to get it out of there. That's the problem if you do it in the rainy season. So today I'm gonna mix the concrete myself. I already mixed the sand and the concrete and the stones with water. Looks a little bit brown because most of it comes from the pile back there. Now I have to put it in the hole. And the rest I'm gonna pour in with the cart. Well, so now it's filled completely with concrete and now I'm going to try to put the steel inside in the wet concrete. I'm gonna mix it a little bit to get the air out and now I have to push it inside. And I cut this board. to get it into the right position and make it perfectly straight. That's how the foundation looks on the next day. It started to rain yesterday after I finished the first post. That's why I stopped recording and finished it for two hours in the rain. And to protect it from the rain so it doesn't get too wet, I covered it with the plastic sheets. Also to prevent the water from coming in. Um, so that's how the finished block looks pretty good. Um, now I will let it dry for a week and water it every day and cover it with the plastic sheet. And then I can attach the wood posts. So for testing, I already put a little wood post to see if it fits and it fits perfectly. I just needed some pressure to push the wood between the steel and also the second one looks really good especially if you keep in mind that i came up with the whole construction myself it seems to work pretty well here you can still see the board which keeps the steel in place 
so it's perfectly centered and now I just have to drill some holes and screw the posts onto it and then it should be pretty stable. Today I want to take care of the grass behind me before it gets even longer but the problem is it's already so thick that I just don't want to cut it instead I want to rip it out completely with the roots so first of all it doesn't grow back immediately and also I don't have the leftover stems all over the place so let's go So now I have a new pile full of grass, it's almost 2 meters high and was a lot of work. That's how it looks after 4 hours of ripping out the grass. But everything is still overgrown, so I will let it cut. My landlord offered to cut it for $10. So, thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss the next episode, you can subscribe my channel for free. And if you click the little bell icon, you will get a notification as soon as the next video will be released. Also, feel free to leave a comment or a like. And in my next episode, I will make the final preparations for my container roof before I put everything together. And here you can watch the last episode again, where I started with the woodwork. Until next time, Pura Vida!